the brand. I mean, Penn was all that I fished before. It was my go-to brand. Uh, a lot of cracking from the sun. Uh, like I said, these reels get used a lot. There's a lot of abuse with this stuff. Hey guys, Captain Brian Box here. I'm a pro guide out of Naples, Florida, and I just wanted to take a moment to share with you guys uh, the reason why I've chose Cast King as my brand of choice. So I started a test a few years ago. Uh, I was going through gear left and right, and I needed to find a brand that lasted in salt water that didn't break the bank when I had to go buy something. So I started off, uh, I bought several different brands of reels, everything from the cheapest Shakespeare reel that I could get from Walmart to some of the higher end pin reels. Well, I, I'm not going to say higher end, mid range. Again, we're trying to shoot for cost effective here. Um, these are the results of my study. So the Shakespeare reel, you guys can hear that it's nasty, crunchy. I mean, it was like this given two weeks out of, of use in the salt. Um, Mitchell Able Salt. I bought this at Walmart. I picked it up. Felt like a pretty good reel at first until it rained. The first time it rained, it got water in the pinion gear. It locked up on me. I took this reel off of my rod and it's never been fished with again. Uh, Shimano Sienna held up pretty well. Um, still pretty good to this day. Still, st These reels are still being used, the ones that are functional. But uh, there's some corrosion. No big deal. The big thing I noticed with this was the drag stopped making a sound. Uh, upon further inspection, a little pin on the inside broke. Not a big deal, not a bad reel for the price, but not what I was looking for for my company, for my clients. Um, heard a lot of good stuff about the pin fear, so I gave them a try. It's a pretty good snapper reel at first. Can you hear that? That happened to me after about six months of fishing with it. Uh, a gear tooth on the inside bent and it rubs every time it rolls around. A lot of corrosion issue with this, and I'm really disappointed in the brand. I mean, Penn was all that I fished before. It was my go-to brand. Uh, a lot of cracking from the sun. Uh, like I said, these reels get used a lot. There's a lot of abuse with this stuff. Uh, so I stepped up to a little bit more expensive, a little bit on the higher end. This is a pin Battle. Fairly decent reel held up, but just it didn't have the longevity and smoothness that I was looking for, and this drag is well, atrocious to say the least. Um, again, some cracking from the sun, uh, being in the sun five to seven days a week. Uh, these reels get subjected to a lot of UV torture. So that brings me to the brand Cast King. So I bought this reel again, just as a test. I didn't know anything about the brand and I was really floored by what I was seeing in performance. Look at this. This reel is two years old, commercially used, and it still spins like the day I bought it. Now, there's a little bit of corrosion, okay? A little bit of corrosion damage, but nothing major. The drag on this reel is still flawless. It still works and operates smooth as butter. And this really piqued my interest with the brand Cast King. So I reached out to them and started to test a few of their other reels. And I've got to say, every single reel that I've used from Cast King has held up. Whether it's rated or not for salt water, it's given me zero issues at all. Capstan 300, absolute beast. They've given me zero issues at all in salt water. All in all, Cast King as a company has saved my company and my brand thousands of dollars in overhead just in the way that they perform and their longevity of use. So this is why I choose Cast King and I challenge you to do the same. Go out, get yourself a Shark E3 and pin it up against the other brands and see how you stand. If you guys ever have any questions, my name is Captain Brian Box. You can find me on social media, uh, A underscore salt dot weapon at Instagram or Real Salty Endeavors on Facebook. Have a great day. Thank you.